Now on a more positive note on Nigeria, the U.S. state of Maryland is home to more than 23,000 Nigerians, according to Maryland's Governor Martin O'Malley. Earlier this week, officials from Nigeria as a cross river state and Maryland signed a memorandum of understanding establishing a sister state relationship between the two communities. VOA's Paul Ndiho attended the event and tells us more about it. The Nigerian community is one of the fastest growing immigrant groups in Maryland. As their ranks have expanded, so has their prominence and visibility. Now, to cement that relationship, Nigeria's across River State has sealed a friendship pact with Maryland that will promote tourism, agriculture, and industry between the two states. Presiding over the signing ceremony, Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley noted that the sister state relationship between Maryland and Cross River State provides a unique opportunity for Maryland and its citizens. The governor observed that the West African state has a history of good diplomatic relations with the United States and the state of Maryland, and that the memorandum of understanding between the two states was vital. So the relationship between Maryland and Nigeria is already strong. And we have the ability to make it stronger in trade and in many of the things that unite our people. We are very fortunate here in Maryland to have a large and very civically engaged Nigerian community. And we have 23,000 Nigerian Americans here in Maryland who call Maryland home, who contribute in, in every way to the cultural, the social, the economic health of our state. The sister state agreement will provide a forum for economic development, tourism and cultural understanding through business, high school and university exchange programs. Senator Layo Imoke is the governor of Cross River State, Nigeria. Well, um, the MOU that has just been signed with the state of Maryland um, would uh, provide an opportunity for us to strengthen partnerships and relationships and share experiences and um, take advantage of opportunities in key sectors that we hope can have a significant impact on the people of Cross River for us uh, and, of course, on our economy. As Cross River State Governor, Imoke is credited with improving best services, tourism, information technology, and the agriculture sector. His tourism initiative has resulted in making his state the number one holiday destination in Nigeria. Maryland has the 15th largest economy in the U.S. Imoke says it's a win-win for both states. We can tap into those resources um, that would actually see um, some of that experience translating into uh, development for us. Uh, when we speak uh, about Maryland as a state and the opportunities that it presents, um, we think that uh, we've, through its very structured system, uh, it has a, a business community uh, that is looking to Nigeria and to Africa and we want to position ourselves as that entry point into Nigeria. The initiation to establish a relationship with the state of Maryland was led by consultant Cheryl Hill from Cross River State and other partners. With Maryland's a tremendous population of Africans, uh, particularly professionals, Governor Imoke says it's a natural fit. We also believe that um, some of their policies in terms of education, healthcare, and some of their legislation and their laws um, are relevant, um, even in our developing economy. And so we want to learn from those experiences and partner with some of the institutions that are here. Um, so we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Um, we can now tailor what, um, what has been developed here and modify it as well to fit our own, our own conditions and our own environment. I think that's critical uh, in a sister state relationship. The sister state initiative between Maryland and Cross River began in 2011 when Maryland officials visited Nigeria. That was followed by a visit by Nigerian officials to Maryland in 2012. Both hope the relationship will thrive and grow in the years to come. From Maryland, Annapolis, Paul Ndiho, VOA News. Well, we want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories that we cover here. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.